Hey, Jim here. Look what just came yesterday. A little aluminum spool, 30 meter from AliExpress. Is this thing an Apex Lifeline killer? Let's find out. Yep, this came in the mail yesterday and it was $17 from AliExpress. Now, it's a 30 meter. They also have the 15 meters. I think those are about $15. And I'll tell you what, this thing is slick. First off, I was shocked at how small this is. Let's have a look. This is another 30 meter spool. This is Delrin. Have a look here. Look at that. Now, how can this thing be so small? The key is the line. But this is where I have a little bit of question on my own mind. So let me have a look. So as I took apart the line, I was finding one thing that I was disappointed with. First of all, look at how this comes. <laughs> that is totally useless. There are other spools in AliExpress that have, as the lifeline does, it has a loop and then some shrink wrap at the end. And actually, that's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to go out and get some 30, 30 cent shrink wrap. I'm going to make this up into a proper uh, spool and I will show you that. But it's going to cost me about a dollar and 10 minutes of my time to do. Uh, let's have a look. So, okay, first thing, the line is super, super thin and flat. Now that's how I, I noticed the new lines, the new cave lines are coming flat. And that's one of the things that allows this to be so small. However, there is a durability question. Now I'm going to check it out and do some experimenting, but uh, that's something I will keep my eye on. Uh, here it has the swivel, which I'm very interested in because I do have major issues with every time when you're rolling this up, there's a twist of the line, a twist of the line. And by the time you get, you get up to the surface, that SMB has some significant twisting in there and then your line gets all, gets all wrapped up. So it's, it's not pleasant. Other things, it does come with a double ender, a stainless double ender that looks uh, reasonable. I will assume that's a stainless spring inside. Sometimes cheap double enders do not have a stainless spring inside. I'll find that out in a hurry. Another thing I'm not totally happy with. So inside, I don't know if you can see, there you go. There are actually holes in there and that's going to reduce the weight of this spool. However, one thing they did is they tied the line from one hole to another. That's kind of weird. I mean. I don't really want that. All right, I'll probably take this line off and just tie it around the outside how a normal spool is secured. I don't like this idea of the line inside here. And I'm going to make, I'm going to take uh, some of this, cut it off and make myself a loop here. And at the end, I will put a shrink wrap um, to try and approximate the uh, Apex lifeline. So I'll tell you what, on first glance, this baby is slick. I am super happy with this. Super, super happy. Um, I'm sure it's gonna be negative in the water, which is something I did not like about the Apex Lifeline, but now I'm actually using a stainless one, so half one, one the other. I'm really gonna be happy about how small this is. Always looking to save room inside my pocket. This is a super bonus for a 30 meter. I can't even imagine how small the 15 meter is, but I, I always go with a 30, just in case I have to do a deco stop from 21 meters. Never gonna happen to me anymore. So, $17 AliExpress. I'm going to put the link down below. If you want to have a look, here it is. And stay tuned for, I will have a second video on fitting this up and uh, show you how I did on this with the shrink wrap and, and how close I got it to the Apex Lifeline. Is this an Apex Lifeline killer? I think for me it's going to be $17 versus $95 or whatever it is. That is quite a value. If I can put in that 10 minutes of work and about a buck worth of parts, I think I can manage that. All right, stay tuned for the next video when I fit that up. All right, thanks for joining. Bye-bye.